Halli, hallo, and welcome to the very first episode of German Traffic Signs. In this video I'll introduce you to five German common traffic signs and what they mean. So without further ado, let's begin with the first one. Die Vorfahrtsstraße, the priority road. As you might know, there are either positive or negative traffic signs. The positive ones will grant you certain rights, the negative ones will forbid something, tell you to wait or to stop. This first sign stands for the German Vorfahrtsstraße, the priority road. It's a positive traffic sign, because it says drivers on the priority road have a right of way. In German, sie haben Vorfahrt. And drivers on by roads have to wait. If you like having eggs for breakfast the most, remember, an egg has priority. Here is a little mnemonic, eine kleine Eselsbrücke. If you like having eggs for breakfast the most, remember, an egg has priority. Sometimes you'll see this sign as well. It tells you that the street you're driving on is a priority street no longer. Traffic sign number two. Das Vorfahrtgewehrenschild. The give way sign. This is the opposite to the Vorfahrtsstraße. Vorfahrtgewehren means to grant drivers on the priority road their right of way. It's a negative traffic sign, because if you're not on a street with a Vorfahrtgewehren sign, you have to wait until there is enough free space for you to enter the priority street in front of you. By the way, you aren't allowed to park in front of the sign in an area of 5 meters within town. Outside of town, it's even 50 meters. Wherever there is a priority road sign, this sign needs to be on the crossroads as well. Schild Nummer 3 Der Kreisverkehr The roundabout This sign says, Vor dir ist ein Kreisverkehr. There is a roundabout in front of you. In Germany, we have a driving on the right side system. It's standard to drive on the right lane as opposed to England, for instance. This is important in a German roundabout, im Kreisverkehr as well, because you are only allowed to enter and to leave a Kreisverkehr by turning right. Also, you are only allowed to indicate, zu blinken, when you're about to leave the roundabout, not when you enter it. Traffic sign number four. Stop. Or das Stoppschild. This is a negative traffic sign and oh wonder, it tells you to stop for at least three seconds before you can continue driving. The stop sign kind of is a progression to the Vorfahrtgewehren sign, because here you have to stop in any case. You don't need to stop the engine though. Please note, in the German language, the word stop is written with 2p, but the word on the uh, sign is just written with 1p. Hmm. However, this sign comes along with a white line next to it, which tells you where to stop. And now to a term which you will definitely like. Zulässige Höchstgeschwindigkeit. Zulässige Höchstgeschwindigkeit means maximum allowed speed. The number in the middle can differ, but the sign itself, a red and a white circle, always looks the same. This is the maximum speed you're allowed to drive on this part of the street. Be aware that in Germany these numbers refer to kilometers per hour, kmh and not to miles or other meters. We have three main ways to show when a speed limit like this ends. The first way. One speed sign like this can be reversed by a consecutive speed sign with a different maximum speed displayed. Then this new sign displays the new maximum speed allowed. The second option. 
This sign reverses both the actual maximum speed and more street restrictions. For example, a prohibition of taking over. This sign allows you to drive as fast as the general rules for the kind of street you're driving on. An example. You will find many traffic signs like this most likely out of town, on a Landstraße, a country road. Not to be confused with the Autobahn. If no other speed sign is there, the maximum speed allowed on a Landstraße is 100 km per hour. The third option. Once you see this sign, it displays you've just entered a town area. In this case, the maximum speed is 50 km per hour. It can be less though, if other speed signs lower the maximum speed range in town. In many streets inside of German towns, there is a maximum speed of 30 km per hour. So this was the first German traffic signs video. I hope you've learned something and if it has helped you, give me a little thumbs up and share this video with friends and family. Thanks for watching anyway. I'm your Vlog Dave. Tschüss und haut rein.